Hello everyone, how are you doing right now? I'm sure you are feeling excited and ready to learn something new today with me, the one and only Mr. Pen. However, before we start our lesson, let's pray first. Let's pray together. Amen. Now look at this tree. Do you know what tree it is? Yes, it's a banyan tree. Look closer. What are hanging on the branches of the tree? They are hanging roots. These roots hang above the ground. Can these hanging roots still get water that the tree needs to grow? Of course, they get water from the moisture or water vapor in the air. Do you know how roots normally grow? That's right, roots are usually grown underground. Today, we are going to learn about plants, parts, and their functions. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Take a look at this tomato plant. There are five parts of plants with different functions. First, leaves. The leaves trap sunlight and make food for the plant. The process of leaves making food is called photosynthesis. There are many tiny openings on the leaves called stomata, which help the plant to take in and give out gases. Second, stem. The stem supports the plant and holds the leaves up. There are many tubes inside the stem. They can carry water and minerals from the roots to other parts of the plants. The tubes also carry food from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Third, flower. The flower develops into a fruit. Fourth, fruit. The fruit contains seeds which can grow into new plants. And the last, roots. The roots hold the plants firmly to the ground. The roots take in water and minerals for the plants. Minerals are made of decaying plants and animals which have been buried in the ground. Plants need water and mineral to grow well. Now, we are going to discuss furthermore about plants. Are you interested? Come, follow me. Plants come in different sizes and shapes. Therefore, a plant part can look different in different plants. It is because the same plant part may have different functions in different plants. Look at the pictures. Some roots grow spread over a wide area to obtain more water. Meanwhile, this plant has roots that grow deeply into the soil to obtain more water. However, the roots of some plants are found above the ground. The roots of banyan tree are hanging in the air to obtain more air. Meanwhile, mangrove has roots that are sticking out of the mud to obtain more air. Stems are usually found above the ground. Stems can be strong and weak. Plants with strong stems, such as trees, can stand upright. Look at the pictures. These trees have stems of different sizes and thickness. However, their strong stems help them stand upright. Meanwhile, plants with weak stems cannot stand upright. They use other plants, walls, or fences for support or just creep on the ground. These plants have weak and long stems. Their long stems help them to climb or creep. Leaves come in different sizes, shapes, and edges. 
leaves are usually thin and flat. This helps them absorb more sunlight to make food. Take a look at this picture. The leaves of tall trees get a lot of sunlight. Their leaves are usually smaller. Oak trees are tall. The narrow and curvy edge leaves help them to reduce loss of water due to heat from the sunlight. The leaves of plants that grow under the tall trees do not get as much sunlight. The leaves are usually larger. This dogwood leaf is white with smooth edges. It helps it absorb more sunlight and water. Flower and fruit. The flowers of plants come in different shapes and colors. Arcade and rose are bright in colors. Meanwhile, grass flowers are dull in color. Flowers help plants to reproduce. They have parts that are used for reproducing. Some animals like bees and butterfly are attracted by different types of flowers. This help them to reproduce. Some flowers can develop into fruits. The fruits of different plants come in different sizes, shapes, and colors. This papaya is large, oval, and orange. However, this apple is small, round, and red in color. Hmm, which one do you like? Do you know that fruit attracts animals to eat them? Yes, fruit attract animals to eat them. The seeds that fall into the ground can grow into new plants. Alright, that's all for today. We still have one more session next week, which will be a unit review. Moreover, I will see you in a Zoom meeting to discuss the activity book. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay at home. See you next week and bye-bye everyone!